This is a tutorial about InterSystems Cache. InterSystems Cache can be downloaded from the website. You need to register, search for the product called Cache, download it and install it. I've got a really old version installed <coughs> on my PC. Um, yours will probably be a lot newer. When it's installed, you will end up with a Cache cube. From this cache cube you can do all sorts. There's some documentation where you can search for stuff to give you examples. We're going to be using cache object script. So loads of examples there. We'll also be using cache terminal. This is where you can do stuff on the fly, run programs, etc. And we're also going to be using Cache Studio. This is where we'll be doing some programming. Right. What you need to do, one of the first things you need to do is copy all this code and save it into this file. Um, I'll leave the I'll leave this code in the description somewhere. So if you copy all this and just copy and paste it, what you need to do is open up your studio, click on create new, click the general tab, click cache object script, OK, and then paste it, and then save that as an int file. So save it as pvcc.int, save as. Once you've saved it, you will, it will look like that then what you will need to do is compile it like that. Just click on compile up there. If it's saved and there are loads of lines like that with red lines, it basically means you just need to put a space in front. Okay. Um, what that PVCC is, is like um, graphics. It does text graphics that makes sense. Anyway, so this is the studio. Uh, just pressing enter will go take it down to a new line. So what we're going to do now is we're going to run that program we've just installed, the PVCC one. So at the terminal you just type in D space up arrow which is shift and number six I think then PVCC, press enter, it won't do anything. It does behind the scenes, but it doesn't look to do anything here. So if we now write percent %SCR, that means clear the screen. Now you've got to remember that this cache terminal is in rows and columns. We've got 25 rows from top to bottom, and we've got 80 columns from left to right. So what we're going to do now is write hello world. Now I've shortened the word write. So that word there, write, has been shortened to W. That's what you can do in cache. Press enter and you can see that it prints hello world on the next screen. So the next one, I might as well copy this. I'm just right clicking to copy. So write question mark 10 comma hello world. What that will do is it will write the, the word, the sentence hello world on the next line, but it will be 10 columns from the left inward. So probably whereabouts where the mouse is now. The one after that. What that does is that will misalign out and do exactly the same. This one will print out the word hello world, but the text will be flashing, a bit like the cursor. This one 
we'll print the word hello world and it'll be underlined this one will print the word hello world and it'll be inverse video This one will print the word hello world and it is um, like a, you can, you can use that to make the text twice as big. I'll explain all these in more detail as we go through. I'm just trying to do this as quickly as possible so bear with us. Uh, what this does is the hash means clear screen so that that hash is the same as that there percent SCR um, the exclamation mark mark is a, a new line and the question mark and number six is six columns from the left to the first word then we'll write a new line and write the word world underneath it yep so we've cleared the screen Mr. Line, gone for six on the left and then a new line. What this one does is the percent X means position the cursor 45 columns from the left. Okay, and then the percent Y means 15 from the top. So 45 from the left and 15 from the top might be around about mm, probably probably about there where my cursor is uh, nearly this one sets a variable called name equal to the word JSON it writes on a new screen hello it'll insert the value of name which is JSON what a nice day so it should say hello JSON what a nice day okay so the best thing to do is to get your terminal open, pause the video and just copy these. You know, you have to type them in and then just press enter and just, just experiment. Changing these numbers, you know, try two of these, put a few of these on and see what happens and stuff like that. Yeah. Right. 